Hi, this is Slide Dynamic, and this is the new feature overview of uh, the Slide Dynamic PowerPoint add in for creating non linear dynamic slide navigation menus natively in PowerPoint. The new feature is the mouse over feature versus the mouse click, which allows you to reveal the drop down menus to then go and navigate, find, and go to a different slide if and when and as it's relevant. So, first of all, I've created 44 slides. The content is random, it's more around the concept, and this quickly shows you um, the slide dynamic tab um, on the PowerPoint ribbon menu. In this example, I'm going to go and create one of the slide navigation menus uh, for this PowerPoint. And this is the new feature. Um, this basically allows you to launch the menu, uh, a drop down menu if you like, uh, on mouse click or a mouse over. And I'm going to show you the mouse over because it's new. I'm going to pick one of the slide navigation templates. Uh, this is a thumbnail scrolling thumbnail template. Click open. And basically this goes and adds the slide navigation menu to each of the slides. What it also does is it creates this little button. This is how you launch this. And this is what we're going to show you that you can mouse over versus mouse click to, uh, to reveal this. Um, this is the default one. It's not very pleasant. Um, you can obviously change it, change its color, change its size. Anything on the slide um, can be a, uh, a trigger, if you like, to launch the menu. You can even set it to transparent, so it's not even visible. So that's, um, that's basically added the function to each of the slides. And the second thing is to go and create the slide menu's content. So by default, it uh, makes every slide available, uh, its title, as you'll see here, and a thumbnail. Um, and you can obviously take out slides that probably aren't relevant or you don't want to form part of the slide navigation. So this basically replaces the idea of manually creating hyperlinks. Um, the next thing is to create the menu's content. So it's completely automated and it's quite quick. And that process is complete. And to finalize, you just need to close and then reopen. And once this has been done, you don't have to repeat this process ever again for this presentation. It's, uh, it's there as and when is necessary. So that's uh, how quickly it takes to, to create the menu, um, the content, um, quite considerably quicker than if you're going to manually create hyperlinks if they're useful. Um, in order to see it, you simply go into show mode. Uh, and as I say, the, the icon that's, uh, that's shown here is the uh, default one that can be changed to make it suit the, uh, the design of your slides, obviously. But you would go and present as if you were, whether you're using the keyboard or, or the mouse to basically click. And if and when you need to go to a different slide, uh, instead of clicking on this icon, you simply mouse over and there it is. So this is the uh, navigation menu and it shows you each slide, slide one, you can scroll through slide 44, it automatically creates the thumbnail, and if you mouse over, it gives you the slide's title. So you can quickly see the one you want to go to, click it, and there you go. And the menu then automatically disappears, and you can carry on presenting, and if you need to view the uh, menu again, you just mouse over, and there it is. And if you don't want to navigate, once you've launched the menu, you can simply um, mouse over again and it disappears. So if you scroll down it will automatically scroll. It might be a quick way to find the one slide you want. And if you have a large number of slides, the 44 here, you can actually search for the slide as well based on its slide's title or word. So I'll use the word slide, and there's only two slides in the 44 that actually contain the word slide in the title. There you are. Um, and if you want to go back to a previous slide that you've presented and you've done so in a non-linear sort of dynamic fashion, you can use the history feature. So click on this, and this basically lets you track back, as you see, 14, 13, 12, 4, in exactly the order we presented them, whether we were doing it through the keyboard, through the mouse, uh, and you can close and start carrying on and on presenting at that point, or you can resume at the point in which you uh, wanted to track back. So I'll just close. So that's the new feature, that's the mouse over feature. Thanks very much.